Hey everybody, my name is Craig and welcome to the channel. Usually I do more produced videos. I don't usually do this candid stuff very often, but today I discovered a problem while I was trying to edit some S-Log3 footage on my Sony FX6. When I brought the footage into Premiere, the footage just looked horrendous and I did not know why because I haven't had this issue for quite some time. So I actually think I figured out the problem and the problem is actually with Premiere itself and not uh, the FX6. So I'm gonna show you what I discovered here as we hop in to the computer. Okay, so I'm gonna to switch to the OBS view here, the recorded view so you can see what's going on, but clearly you can see that this footage does not look like S-Log3 footage. There's way too much saturation. There's stuff going on in the highlights, it's crazy. All of that highlight information, I mean, look at that. That is just horrendous. That is not FX6 quality. So I went over to my FX6, I was shooting in S-Log3, um, in Cine EI mode. If you don't know what that is, I will do a video on that later because it's kind of difficult to explain in a quick amount of time. But I double checked everything, I triple checked everything, and I knew that my settings were correct, so I didn't understand what was happening. So I went to the trusty internet and I was searching all over for people who may have had this problem. I saw di different people who, you know, were having this issue, S-Log3 footage coming in, it felt like there was a LUT applied, and that really is what I felt like was happening here in the video. I then imported the footage into Final Cut and I was experiencing a little bit less problems. It, the color looked a little bit better, but it also felt like there was something going on here with a LUT applied. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I even took some more reference footage and clearly this is not an S-Log. But when I recorded in the camera, it showed that it was recording S-Log. I don't know the final cut problem here. I'm wondering if there's like um, a LUT that's being applied to the video here in these settings, but I, I'm unsure. So I don't know the, the final cut problem, but I solved the Premiere problem. I was in Premiere, I decided, okay, well, why don't we open it up in the 2021 version? So here we are, Premiere 2021. As soon as you click on that, we can see perfect ass lock. So there must be something going on with the way that Premiere, the new version of Premiere, the 2022 version, is reading that Sony S-Log3 footage from the FX6. I'll have to see if this is happening with my A7S III, but if you're using the FX6 and you're having this problem, if you revert back to the older, okay, if you revert back to the older version of Premiere, you should be able to fix that problem. And I was doing some color grading and you definitely have all of that information um, at your disposal. So it's not clipping highlights, the shadows look great. You should be able to um, continue using your FX6. So hopefully that uh, was helpful to any of you who are having a problem with your FX6. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you found it helpful in any way, or if you were experiencing this problem, let me know so maybe we can dialogue about what's going on with this Premiere update or the FX6 or the S A7S III, the A1, all of those Sony cameras. Um, if you're having this problems with other ones, please let me know so I can figure out what's going on and if we need to contact Sony or Premiere, Adobe for these problems and get to the bottom of what's happening because this is super obnoxious to have to revert back to the older versions uh, to fix these issues. Anyways, thanks so much guys for watching this video. Much love. Also, Editor Craig here. I'm well aware that this is not a long-term solution. This is just a solution for you if you you know need to produce videos in the next few weeks but hopefully Premiere and or Sony come up with a solution for this. I'm actually gonna attempt to update the firmware on my camera to see if that helps anything. But if it doesn't, um, this is a workaround so that you can use the 2021 version of Premiere for now to edit your S-Log3 footage with the FX6. Okay, I'm out.